doing today. All right, the goal is to be able to take what we've been doing in the 5D process and be able to convert that into variable we can solve equations. So we're trying to get a little bit away from guess and check and do some guess and check and we're going to start moving them to variables so we can start solving equations. So today let's take a look at the very first problem. I'm going to just extend this page a little bit. So we're looking at the problem I want here. In question 89, Thu has one mini box of Cocoa Blasters. He's got one of these. But Warren gave him three more pieces. So he's got one box plus three more. Samara has two boxes. So she's got two of these boxes. Um, but she gave six pieces to Will. So even though she had two boxes of these Cocoa Blasters, she took six of them and she gave them away. So that would be two boxes less six. So if we were to take and put those into an equation, well, here, let's read the rest of this first. Now, after she gave away six, and after Thu got three more, Thu and Samara have the same number of Cocoa Blasters left. So let's think about that and put that into some kind of equation. Thu had a box. We don't know how many Cocoa Blasters are in the box, but he got three more. So he's got x plus three. Samara's got two boxes, and again, we don't know how many are in a box, but she's got two boxes, and she gave away six. After she gave away six, and after Thu got three more, the two of them have the same amount. So now what you're going to do is pause the video, and you're going to plug in numbers for x until you get the two of those to be equal. Go ahead and do that. Pause the video at this moment. I'm back in three, two, one. All right, you should have your answer now. If you did this correctly and you plugged in numbers, 10 was too much, 8 was too little, your answer should be that there are 9 Cocoa Blasters in each mini box. I hope you got that. If you didn't get that, go back and look at it and try and plug in the numbers until you get the 2 to equal. Next one. So we are on to... That problem right there, the Cupcake Eating Contest. There are four finalists in the Cupcake Eating Contest. We've got Jesse, Chris, Aaron, and Sam. Now Chris ate three more cupcakes than Aaron did. Well, how many cupcakes did Aaron eat? We don't know, do we? So since we don't know how many Aaron ate, oh, I've got this down here somewhere. There we go. I've got Aaron... Chris, Sam, and Jesse. So we don't know how many Aaron ate. Well, if we don't know how many Aaron ate, that means Aaron ate X number of cupcakes. So we've got Aaron eating X number of cupcakes, but we know that Chris ate three more cupcakes than Aaron did. So if Chris ate three more than X, that means that Chris ate X plus three. Whatever Aaron ate plus three more. Sam, right up here on the second one. Sam ate five less than twice what Aaron did. Now, a lot of students make the mistake and think that they go, oh, that's five minus something. No, no, no. Five minus something isn't five less than something. You want to rewrite that the other way around. You want to first do that he ate twice as much, and then it was five less than whatever that amount was. So first do the multiplication part of the variable, then take five away from that. So it's 2x minus five. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, come and ask me a question tomorrow. And then finally is Jesse. Jesse ate seven more than Aaron did. I'm willing to guess by now you should know what that is. If he ate what Aaron did plus seven more, that would be X plus seven. Now, they have the thing, together. That means all of them, if we added everything they ate together, ate 215 cupcakes. So if we take and we add everybody together here, we take Aaron plus Chris plus Sam plus Jesse. They all ate 215 cupcakes. How many did each of them eat? Well, before you start plugging in a bunch of numbers here for your X's and solving this way, we can simplify these things in a different way. Watch what I'm about to do. It's very interesting. I have one X here. I have one X here. I have two X's here. And I have one X here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let me go through that again. I have 1 plus 1 more x is 2 
plus two more x's is four, plus another x is five. I have five x's. Remember that for a moment, five x's. Let's also take a look at our numbers. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that's a plus three, but I tend to like to think of that instead of a plus three, think of it as a positive three. So I've got a positive three here. Let's add our positive seven. We'll get to the negative five here in a moment. I've got a positive seven and a positive three. If we add those together, we get a positive 10. From that positive 10, we can do this take away five or negative five. Positive 10 and negative five equals positive five. So that should make sense that I've got one, two, three, four, five x's here. Three plus seven is 10, take away five is five. So I know that if I kind of simplify all these together, I get the equation 5x plus 5. And as we set up here, it all equals 215 cupcakes. So now we just got to figure out what does x equal to get that. You're going to think about that for a while. You're going to come to class with your answer. I'm not going to give you the answer for this right now. You're going to come to class and I'm going to check to see if you're right. Once you get this though, once you figure out how, what x equals here, let's say x equaled 10, which is not correct. But if x did equal 10, then you'd come back and say, well, Aaron had 10 cupcakes. Chris had 13. Sam had, let's see, 2 times 10 is 20, minus 5 is 15. So Sam had 15, and Jess had 10 plus 7 or 17, which obviously is not correct. You're going to come back and tell me what the right answer is. All right, but before you work on that, well, you can work on that. If you want to work on that and pause the video, then start it back up. If you want to just write down the rest and then go back and finish that, do that. The next problem we're working on is this one. And now you're doing all the work. I'm not showing you anything this time. Uh, this weekend at work, my coworkers are comparing what they made in tips. My friend Jess made $30 more than twice what James did. So figure out what would that be. Well, how much did James make? That should be your first clue. We got to put in a something for James. And then we have to compare that to Jess, who made $30 more than twice as much as James. So write down what those two uh, would look like, what those two expressions. The expression for James is simply one little variable. The expression for Jess is a little bit more. Combined, that means to add them together. Combined, they equal 315. So kind of like I did in that last one. Add them together, and they equal 315. And then what you're going to do is combine those two equations together the best you can and see if you can solve for that. Bring your work to class on that tomorrow. If you want to do that right now, pause the video. If not, you want to go back and do it afterwards, that's fine. We're moving on to the next and last question. The last question. We're at the Minnesota Zoo. My favorite part of the zoo was being able to visit the farm and pet the animals. I noticed that there were cows, horses, I guess I don't have a picture of the goats. Oh, poor goats. And chickens. Oh, by the way, oh, I guess you can't hear that. I was trying to get the sound of a cow. Oh, maybe it is trying to think for me. Anyways, I'm not going to do the work on this one for you. You're going to do the work again. And this one's a little trickier, so I'm going to kind of set this up and then give you some hints. There were three times as many cows than ho How many horses are there? That's the first thing you should set up. How many horses? Well, we don't know. So what do you put in when you don't know? Put down that. And then for the cows, there's three times as many. So you can do that. For the goats, there are five more than twice as many goats than horses. Again, you don't know how many horses are. That's why you have a variable in for them. But there's five more than twice as many goats. So for the goats, write down what that expression would be. Your last expression is for the chickens. And ten more chickens than horses. That should be fairly simple. Ten more chickens than horses. Now, here's where the tricky part comes in. If you remember back a couple questions ago, I broke out the four different people eating cupcakes. Aaron and Jesse and Chris and those guys. In that equation, they wanted me to add all of them together to get to the 215 cupcakes. Do you remember that? In this case, they don't want them all added together. 
when you get your your expressions all written down here for the cows, the horses, the goats, and the pigs, the total number of the chickens and the goats, just, oh, why did I say pigs? There are no pigs up there. I'm sorry, it's cows, horses, goats, and chickens. But the total number of chickens and goats, okay, is equal to 30. So we're not interested in the cow's expression. We're not interested then in the horse's expression. We're only interested in the chickens and goats expressions, and those two combined equal 30. So when you come to class tomorrow, see if you've got the answer for that. This is a little bit more of a challenge problem. Good luck to you. We'll see you tomorrow in class.